Aloha. Your favorite friend with questionable character. Aloha, Mr. Han. I've gotten a lot of questions about my thoughts regarding the White Sox managerial hire. I posted some thoughts yesterday on Twitter and got some very interesting responses stemming from being called uh, stupid and lame to people totally agreeing with me. Now, the first tweet I put out said, it's interesting that they took a guy who the Royals passed over. I did not accuse him of not being able to do his job. I just said it was interesting they took a guy that the Royals passed over twice. Then I was more encouraged by this hiring when the news came out that the coaching staff, with the exception of Ethan Katz and Kurt Hassler, who was the bullpen coach, will not be back. I found that encouraging. Then Montoya becoming the bench coach who has managerial experience is another plus, another check in the plus column on this. Now, but the true question is, will he be a great manager? Some people are like, this is a great hire. He's going to be a great man. He's a great manager. You don't know if he's going to be a great manager. You don't know if he's going to be a bad manager. Only time will tell on this. Part of what's going to make him a great manager or a bad manager is what the roster looks like. Rick Hahn, calling Rick Hahn, paging Rick Hahn. This is where Rick Hahn comes in. You need to fix this roster. You need to set this guy up for success, not for failure. What does this mean? It means you can't have first baseman playing left field sometimes and right field almost all the time. It means you can't have Lurie Garcia getting a lion's share of starts, meaning starting 100, 120 games. Use Lurie for what he was good for, what I said, not is, what. And that is as the Swiss Army knife to fill in in multiple positions. That's what you have to do. Whether or We will not know if he is a good manager or a bad manager for a couple of years. And Rick Hahn will play a huge factor in whether or not he is a great manager or a bad manager based on the roster construction and everything else. What concerns me is if 23 goes like 22, are they going to go into another rebuild? Something to seriously consider, folks. I don't, I don't want it to happen, but it's not beyond the realm of possibility. So buckle up, let's roll, and a